And we're live. Welcome to February 2023, our month in recap for the Common Stack. Uh, we are we have a lot going on this month. It was pretty insane, and I'm pretty pretty stoked to give all the updates. So let's just get this started. I'll share a screen. This one. So first and foremost is we're partnering with refi dow how cool is that uh we are going it's it's pretty epic we have some big ideas in store we are going to actually start local nodes all around the world uh incubating startups in the refi space so we will use the same pattern that we used with with tc with the augmented bonding curve and uh incubate hopefully hundreds of local cities into having their own uh, regenerative economy built around supporting the refi space and the develop development within the refi space. So it's super cool. The, the dream is that cities around the world will have their own co-working space and they'll also be acquiring land and other important assets uh, with as a DAO to regenerate their local local community. And this is part of uh, part of the work that we're doing with refi to uh, build a somewhat, I think they call it a nation, uh, a, a um, sorry, a uh, network state. So super cool, uh, but our focus is really just getting our pattern deployed over and over again as many times as we can in cities around the world to make the world a better place. So that's probably the biggest news. Uh, along with that, we are revamping our system. Uh, we're going to make reputation a much more important part of the design. And we're already working on the designs for the fundraise which is super cool. So, uh, and even, we even have like uh, a quick little, you know, demo website that was just starting on this week. So there's, there's action happening and I'm excited for the new iteration of the common stack deployment. Uh, but there's a lot more going on than that. Uh, I'll throw it over to Ivy to talk about, uh, talk about grants. Thanks, Brave. Uh, let me share my screen also. And then, all right. Can you see my screen? Yes. All right. Yeah, so I have some exciting news about grants. So um Common Stack has advanced to the voting phase of Optimism Retro PFG or retroactive uh, public good funding. So um this grant uh funding process is part of the uh, optimism's um effort to create a global system that rewards individuals for their uh, impact on the on optimism's collective. So um this round they're allocating uh, 10 million OP tokens to fund public goods uh, that support the development and usage of the OP stack. So um we're, we're excited that uh, Optimism is our most aligned uh, L2 and that uh, common stacks, open source tools, and cultural frameworks can be used on uh, uh, on Optimism to coordinate the uh, production of public goods. So um, we're inviting all badge holders at Optimism Retro PGF to take a look at our project and hope they find uh, value uh, in our work. So hope this vote for us. Or if you know some badge holders, uh, please uh, share this um, uh, project with them. And um, we'll be also sharing uh, more details about our grant on Twitter. So if you haven't followed us yet, uh, yeah, please follow us and uh, uh, stay tuned for more um, announcements from us. That's it for me. And I pass it back to you, Griff. Cool. Yeah, I, I am a badge holder, but sadly, I cannot vote for us. So please get out there and vote for us because I can't help, help. Uh, also, uh, in other news, we were in East Denver. Uh, Tam and I went to East Denver and represented the Common Stack. Tam had a really great talk. Uh, it, it's online now, over the overlooked power of cooperation. But she actually renamed the, the talk to the myths that make us. And it was really about how narratives are uh, the most important foundational block of of everything that we're doing in crypto, and I couldn't couldn't agree more. Uh, she goes over some really interesting uh, interesting topics, so definitely check it out. Uh, it's it's online now. Unfortunately, I also I also gave a talk, but it's not up yet. They prioritized Tam over me, uh, which is fair. It was uh, about combating the meta crisis, which is also uh, along the same lines of how we can uh how we might be screwed 
because we have more and more crises all the time. Look at all these crises. But uh, hopefully we can overcome them with a, net, with a nested network of economies. And that's uh, so major. I gave some shout outs to Refi Dow, of course, and uh, and really our work around building uh, easy startup liquidity around using the augmented bonding curve. But uh, and also major shout outs to Token Engineering Commons and the Token Engineering Academy. Uh, and and basically, I believe that we can build a functional, technological, technologically advanced society uh, as long as we can get some global coordination networks out there. So definitely check out that talk when it comes out. Uh, but other than that, I think I pass it to Amelia, right, to talk about the rebrand. Yay! Thank you, Griff. Well, and this was a month that we were pretty busy, also with with all this refi down. So our my our energy on the rebranding was diluted. But the good thing is, like we see the light at the end of the tunnel. The rebranding process is almost there. We have amazing things that we are really excited to share soon. But for now, it's gonna be something. Uh, to think in your mind, something uh, to wait for. Um, yeah, also we've been working on our, 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 I'm sorry, my English. And, and we were working on our brand messaging and our services. So everything is changing and actualizing, everything is moving. It's been a really rush month, but the good thing is we're almost there. So that's on me and I'll pass it to Lydia. Thanks, Amelia. I will share my screen to talk a little bit about the TC because there is a lot happening in TC. I'll start with this uh, strategic framework that Gideon posted and approved on Snapshot as a cultural direction that we're gonna follow to focus mostly on education. So there is a plan here for, um, the, the first phase that is until 2024 and then until 2026. So it's a long-term plan for how the Token Engineering Commons will focus on building this uh, foundation for token engineering to uh, be developed and uh, understanding that education is the base for that. And uh, he mentions the token engineering stakeholder study that was one point we identified that we're really missing to understand who makes token engineering um, and what are their challenges, their needs, their ideas. So who who is doing token engineering and how are they doing it and what do they need? How can we help them? So um, I submitted this proposal to conviction voting and it's still up for vote on conviction voting. It's growing conviction. Uh, it needs, I think, um, a little bit more to pass. It's almost there. And we have a really great team to uh, do this social research and analysis. So we'll conduce all of these interviews if this proposal passes, which I think it will, and deliver um, a very comprehensive uh, analysis about it uh, after, which will help the Token Engineering Commons to design a roadmap to move forward. And there's also um, this small grants pilot, which is an initiative with uh, Gitcoin. So there's this Allo, uh, Allo protocol, and um, we're going to experiment with quadratic funding in the TEC. So that also feels very exciting. Go take a look at this proposal that's still in the forum for advice process. And also um, another major news that we've been working for some time with the Token Engineering Academy is this very close partnership that we're understanding how um, the TE Academy could eventually exit to the TEC community. But uh, the first steps we're taking is the value flows, like introducing the TEC token into the Token Engineering Academy value flows. So they are starting to experiment with NFT certificates for the courses. The courses are all free and anyone can take them, but to have the certificate that gives you access to certain things, um, and also the T Academy has been building a whole roadmap for integrating students in the market, in the token engineering market. Uh, so 
we're understanding how to plug the TEC token in, into those value flows, which has been uh, a really fun journey to have. And that's it for me. And I'll pass it to back to you, Griff. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Livia. Yeah, and I guess one last one last thing to add to our uh, to our thought process is we are going to Porto. So if you guys, if you happen to also be going to ETH Porto next week, then definitely look us up. Uh, Tam, Tam, and I will be there as well as uh, as as well as John and Daryl from Refi DAO. So uh, definitely, or no, just just John, I think. Uh, so definitely look us up if you happen to be rolling through Porto. Uh, and now it's our favorite part of, of this pattern is the praise. So uh, there's always a lot of praise. You know, we get all the credit for everything that, that we get to present, but really it's a whole community out there. Uh, so I want to give major praise to John Poller, Danny, Shannon, and the whole ETH Denver crew that put together such an amazing event uh, and gave Giveth and Common Stack so much a space. I got an amazing talk on main stage, uh, and it was, and also uh, we were given a booth, and we were able to manage the impact track and really be integrated with the conference this year. So, thank you so much, everyone in East Denver. Uh, also, major praise goes to John and Daryl uh, for their work in in organizing the fundraising effort around Refi DAO and partnering with us so we can be funded by Refi DAO's uh, fundraising effort and be part of this joint venture that we're doing. It, it really makes every all the research work that we're doing possible. So I can't give it up enough to John and Daryl. And also, uh, Tam can't be here today. I think she's sick from, from uh, East Denver, still recovering. So of course, major praise goes to Tam for an incredible talk and all the coordination effort that she's doing to make everything in the common stack such a success. And I'll, I'll throw it over to Amelia. Thank you, Grief. Well, I think we are repeating some 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 praises. Yeah, some praise. Um, yeah, I have to praise John and Daryl for the for getting everyone together. But I also have to praise Marcelo that from Refi Spring that we will be we will we have been working the past month really close to each other. I've learned a lot, so a lot about the communities all around, all around the world. So I would like also to praise all those Refi communities around there. Also, Anna for her of Refi Spring for her great job on communication, marketing, and getting this huge strategy. Uh, so they rock. And also, and I would like to pray to praise Prishel for all her effort, and she's always going behind me, like so kind, and she's amazing. Thank you, Prisha, and I'll pass it to Livia. Thank you. I want to praise uh, Danilo for helping me so much with the proposal for the stakeholder study, for designing this meta methodology that we're going to get into, and for being so supportive. And also to YGG, Mark, Bear, Lisa, Natalia, Gideon, and Malik that are in this team and uh, were like very helpful behind the scenes until we could put this up. And I also want to praise Angela for uh, the infinite amount of work and passion and devotion she puts into token engineering education and into making the academy a success and forming so many people um, from it. And I also want to praise Gideon for uh, being like so on the ground, so humble and so uh, devoted to the TC and being like a very genuine and awesome person to work with. And I'll pass to you, Sama. Thanks, thanks, Livia. Uh, I praise them for uh, all the hard work she has been doing for planning of local node incubator and also uh, representing Common Stack at Denver. Um, I want to praise, I think, John and Daryl for all the enthusiasm and knowledge that bring to our collaboration. So I think that's really important. And I want to praise Christopher uh, for being open to issues related to the praise and you know giving his suggestions and recommendations on Refi praise. And I want to praise Monty for being on top of things for Refi uh, praise branding and all the YouTube scripts he will be, he has been working for uh, the praise uh, i want to praise anna for all the uh, comms work uh, related to the local node incubator and in sync with me on updates on the, the whole uh, project so yeah that's it from me and i will pass it to you ivy thanks usama 
Uh, I want to praise Yes for her guidance in grant applications and uh, facilitating the fund, uh, fundraising call for the uh, Give It Galaxy. I want to praise Eduardo for answering my questions about the uh, upcoming ENS large grant, and we can't wait to send our proposal. Uh, I want to praise Freshel for our uh, in-person one-on-ones and uh, uh, for, to ex uh, for explaining the uh, common stock finances to me. I want to praise Daryl for uh, being a great mentor and uh, for his patience in explaining to me the uh, structure and process at ReFiDAO and the uh, joint venture with uh, Common Stock. And I pass it back to you, Griff. Thanks. And I'm going to sneak in one extra praise to Gideon for really taking charge in the TEC and making coordinating all the efforts that we're doing there. He's really putting it together. And, and it's it's great to see the TEC be rejuvenated the way it has been. Uh, thank you all for checking us out for what happened in February. It was a crazy month. I actually went to the Philippines as well and hung out with Ivy in person, which was great. Uh, and now I'm in Barcelona and I'm hoping to see Amelia even later today. So uh, yeah, this, it's uh, it's fun being the nomad and getting to see everyone in person. So uh, thank you all, and hopefully I will get to see you in person in Porto. Bye, everyone. <laughs>